A majority of Americans say their financial stress has increased since before the COVID-19 pandemic began. This according to a new CNBC survey conducted in partnership with Momentive. CNBC's senior personal finance correspondent Sharon Epperson joins us now to break down these results. Fascinating, Sharon. It is fascinating, Melissa. When you look at inflation, economic instability, a lack of savings, all of these have increased the share of Americans feeling financially stressed. That's according to CNBC's Your Money Financial Confidence Survey conducted in partnership with Momentive. A vast majority of respondents, 70 percent, say they are stressed about their personal finances. And that includes 57 percent of people earning $100,000 or more. This survey of more than 4,000 adults in the United States was conducted during the last week of March. And overall, 58 percent say they're living paycheck to paycheck. That's also true for those making six figures. About one third admits that's how they're living. And the main factors contributing to financial stress for the six figure set include inflation, economy wide instability, interest rates, and a lack of savings. They're the same stressors for respondents overall. About a third of high earners say they would need a million dollars to really feel financially comfortable. So what would they do if they had a $10,000 windfall? Well, only 12 percent would invest all of that money in the stock market. About a quarter would stash it in a high yield savings account and nearly a third would diversify the money into stocks, bonds and savings. So keeping at least some money safe seems to be a priority across the board regardless of income, Melissa. This is fascinating because we hear so much about how households are in much better shape. They had savings tucked away during the pandemic. They got all sorts of stimulus. They traded stocks, et cetera. What happened to that all? Well, I think people are really feeling stretched no matter how much money they have and they want to keep their money safe. They are a little bit reticent about the banks, though. They're not as confident as you might think. The survey found that only about 13 percent are very confident in the U.S. banking system. And among those making $100,000 or more, the number's only slightly higher at 16 percent. Meanwhile, more than one third or 37 percent of those making six figures are not confident about our banking system compared to 44 percent of respondents overall. So while they want to protect their money, Melissa, they're not too confident right now in the banking system. Yeah, and the timing of the survey is interesting because it happened right after the exactly. little meltdown that we saw. Are there differences amongst genders when it comes to financial confidence among the high earners in particular? It's interesting looking at the group of women that were surveyed. More women are feeling financially stressed about their personal finances than men, according to the survey. 72 percent of women say that they're financially stressed compared to 67 percent of men. Meanwhile, women are also more likely than men to say they're living paycheck to paycheck and have no emergency funds. Women in this survey are, were also more likely than men to be the primary or the sole decision maker when it comes to household finances. Taking a look at women who are high earners, though, those numbers were interesting. When you looked at what women who said they would, if they had a $10,000 windfall, what they would do with it if they were making $100,000 or more, um, only 8 percent would put all of that money into the stock market. 26 percent said they just stashed it all in a high yield savings account. And 30 percent would put in a combination of stocks, bonds and savings. So for women, men, all of them are more likely to say that they want to have diversification than anything else. But savings is also key at this moment. Fascinating uh, findings, Sharon. Thank you so much for sure. sharing them with us.